Hey, it's Lucy, and welcome to Blingdale Forest. Thinking of careers after your PhD, you often hear people, including me in a previous video, talk about the dichotomy between staying or leaving academia. So staying in a research-led environment or going and being profit-driven at some company. Turns out that's a slight oversimplification. A year ago, I started a job that was permanent and normal hours. And if those two descriptors haven't given it away yet, it was a job outside of academia. But this job is also hard science, research-based with flexible hours. I get to come up with research proposals and follow up on new ideas, which doesn't sound like a job in industry. It sounds like a job of all the perks I thought academia would have. I work in the nuclear industry, I work for a national lab um, for the sector that manages what we're doing with spent fuel, but being a national lab, it's not really industry. My day-to-day -day job is in a lab, it's using analytical skills I developed in my PhD, it's using the research skills I developed in my PhD, which sounds just like what I would be doing in academia, except this is research for commerce, for business, but it's also for knowledge. It's a subtle difference, but it's one that I think makes all the difference. And now that it's been a year and a half working there, I can say what I was honestly thinking when it had been a day and a half. Whatever this is, whether this is industry or some sweet spot between industry and academia, it's not academia. And I love it. I love it. I love every aspect about it to the point that I'm not sure what to say in a video I want to keep under mm, 10, 5 um, minutes. But here's a try. This is what life is like 18 months on the other side of the fence. Whoa, that's a big tree. First of all, a list of things that people used to talk about, but which never really existed until I started here. Weekends, mornings, evenings, hobbies, like this. Wow! <laughs> One commodity I was forever stricken for during my PhD was time, because we, well, we all know, you know, that um, we should look after ourselves and not work too many hours. But then we also know that jobs are really, really scarce in academia. And if you want to stay competitive, you really need to work that extra bit. And the combination of that constant fear, that constant pressure, it meant I never did get the balance right. After X number of hours in the office, I can start early and finish early. I can just leave. There is an expectation that you will just leave. There is a culture of not always working. That right there is one of the wonderful reasons to leave academia. I mentioned hobbies as another thing, and that is honestly the most striking personality facet that all my new colleagues share. They have hobbies. My colleagues are all just really cool. Every weekend they dive, bell run, take esoteric technology courses, bake extravagant cakes, read. And I feel like in academia, you just didn't have time to cultivate cool hobbies because you were always working. Being part of a team of people who have cool hobbies, it's contagious. It's dangerous. I now fell run, go wild swimming. I bake, but terribly. That is another one of the wonderful reasons to leave academia. While we're on that thought, part of a team. That's another thing I never felt in academia. In academia, if your experiment fails, no one really cares. And I don't mean that in a nasty way. I mean, it doesn't affect people. Here, if I mess up, then maybe one of my colleagues will have to work late, or maybe I'll make our team look bad, or maybe that will even affect the reputation of my company. And I like my company. Here, there are genuine consequences beyond my own personal sphere. What I do matters. And it never felt like that as an academic. In academia, I felt like I worked in isolation I succeeded in isolation, I failed in isolation. And now what I do affects other people and what other people do affects me. The failures are shared, but so are the successes. And that makes both more meaningful. That is another wonderful reason to leave academia. Connections, consequences, going for a walk after a big success and saying, we did good team. Eh. Oh, come on, no, no. Can I think of any negatives to this new world I found myself in? Is there anything I miss? Okay, so I don't get to choose exactly what I work on anymore. I don't get to write my own grants, say, and pursue exactly what interests me, but I don't really mind because the work is interesting enough anyway. I can't possibly ask enough questions on it. And I am encouraged to say, you know, look, I'm really not enjoying this project. I do have the added worry now that uh, if I mess up, I affect other people. But you know, the flip side of that is that I feel really good if I, Done really well. So I do really worry um, about letting people down now more than I used to because now I, I am part of a team. 
But the flip side of that is the opposite. It's feeling really good when you do well. Imposter syndrome is a big thing I'm dealing with right now because most of the expertise I accrued during my PhD is irrelevant unless we're sending our nuclear waste to Mars. Hmm. But I work with the most wonderful team of people who encourage me to ask questions and love answering them and I'm so fortunate for that. And so even the sting out of that is gone. It's just good in a word. It just feels like I can stop running and stop constantly worrying about the future. Oh no, not again. My science is now being applied to real world problems um, and I get to be a part of the solution to that. This is the sweet spot between academia and industry that I didn't know existed when I first started looking for jobs. This is life one year outside of academia and I love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> Ah! Thank you for watching and tell me in the comments where you sit with all this. What are your thoughts on academia, on industry or on this sweet spot that I seem to have found somewhere in the middle. Oh and if you like this video but want a slightly more objective take on the matter then I made a video from more than a year ago when I was still deciding um, on stay or go from academia. I'll put the link in the box thing below. My name is Lucy Kizik. I am no longer a PhD student at the University of Oxford because I'm now a chemist in the nuclear industry. And take care. Thanks for watching.